Next, we come to one of my favorite tools called Content Analytics, which helps you easily take a behind the scenes peek at how your visitors are interacting with your site. Sumo Content Analytics. Content Analytics is the second tool within the Sumo suite that shows you how your visitors interact with your site. It works in unison with heat maps, but in this instance, what it looks at is how far down the page the average visitor made it. So as, as we did with the other one, the first thing you wanna do is turn the tool on so it can start capturing data. So the dock on the right, touch the crown, content analytics. Down here, the auto record button. You're gonna hit the button add an auto record rule and it's gonna to default to record on all pages exactly what you want. Click save and you're off to the races. So let's look at what this content actually looks like. So we're gonna to go to home, view active campaign for this page and now you're gonna see kind of this rainbow of colors going down. On the left side, these yellow numbers, zero, 10, 20, 30%, are simply the percentage of the page that you're through. So at the bottom of the page, it'll say 100%, and it just divides it in 10%, so you know how far down the page you are relative to the right side. And the right side in a white font shows you what percentage of the visitors make it down to certain points. So here at the top, of course, everyone that loads the page sees this part 100%. Then when we just drop down 10%, we see that only 71% of readers or visitors made it there. So we had a 29% drop off in that first 10%. There's a big drop off off the beginning. And now when you go down and you get to some more of the content, you can see it drops off much lower. So this, or more slowly, I should say. So this one from 30 to 40%, only drop from 53 to 49%, indicative of good content. Now what you can do with this data is you can decide where you wanna put things that you wanna be sure that a certain percentage of people that come to your site see. So this white line here is the average read line. So 50% of readers will stop here and they will get this far. So what might we do? Well, you can see right here, right above the 50% line, we have a call to action. Click here to download the free swipe file. Now there's nothing magical about the 50% line. We just put it in there as a reference so you can tell, but maybe you say in your head, you want 75 out of every 100 people that come to your site to see a certain section. Well, in that instance, you wanna be sure that you put it above the site. Now another thing that you can do with this, some more information that you can glean from this, is see if your site is set up correctly. So what if you have a much too big of a drop right in this area here? Well, then you could look and see, what does the copy look like? Is this kind of boring copy? Can I punch it up? Can I give it a little more sizzle? Maybe it's not very important and it just belongs lower in the page or maybe you need to take it out altogether. But regardless how you do it, it's a nice way for you to tell the engagement of your visitors to your site. Now, this is a blog example. Let's look at my site, the Charisma Matrix, which is selling something, it's a product site. So once again, you're gonna go over here to the crown, content, analytics, and let's see what this looks like. Let's view the campaign. Mine is, of course, already turned on. So, mine has a little video on the top here, so it shows 100 right here. So I am getting a drop off from 100 to 68%, so 32% in the first 10%, that's a pretty big drop off. So that means that only 68% of the people are even getting below a link to my YouTube page right here. Then we get down here and the next drop off is all the way down to 60%. So now this is the first program that I have that I'm selling. So I know that only 60% of people that come to my site are even seeing the top program. So what might I do with that information? Well, this number of YouTube videos on there it adds a little credibility, but there's a lot of people that aren't making it by there. So what I'm gonna do in the future is I'm just gonna take this out and move it on down because it's really not that important. That may be more relevant to people who really wanna dig in and learn more about my site, but I want as many people as possible to be able to learn about my programs to see if they're a fit for them. So I should probably move this down. 60%, 54% here on the right, 48% all the way down to 46%. So one of my most popular programs, the Vocal Power and Tonality Masterclass, only 54% of people, only barely over half of people are even seen. So what I need to do is move this up higher over the 50% line for sure, but maybe even the first or second one, because I know if I do that, an extra 15 to 20% of people are gonna see that, 
which will definitely increase the sales simply because more people are seeing it and they can see if it's a fit for them. Now, when you get down here, this is the stuff that isn't quite as important. So this is saying, you know, my YouTube channel here, here's some popular videos that people see. Only 30% of the people make it down here, but that's fine because I don't have a huge interest in them doing that. If they want to hang around and check that out, that's fine. So by having this information, I can tell where I need to move the things that I want to be sure that a certain percentage of people see. And clearly the best performing program is one that should be towards the top. So using these tools and combined with heat maps, which shows where people are actually clicking on your site, can give you a real behind the scenes peek at how people are working on your site and allow you to optimize where you put the things that you wanna be sure that they see and the actions that you want them to take in the areas that they're most likely to see it and most likely to take action upon it.